Hello everyone, Glorious Game back with another video, and in tonight's video, today, tonight's, today's, whenever you're watching this video, we'll be doing my entire 4K and Blu-ray collection for the start of 2019. Now with that said, hope you all do enjoy, and if you do, please leave a like, subscribe, and follow me on the road to 400 subscribers. And also, just wanted to uh, uh, get something across from the last or from the first part of my starring collections, um, I did forget to show my 3DS collection, but it's the same as it was, so, uh, Ocarina of Time, uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns, and then, um, and then, uh, Super Mario 3D World, so n nothing new, same old, same old, and I think, um, when I do the ending years collections, if nothing has changed in one of my collections, I'm not going to show it. I'm just going to show the most updated ones. So if I only get PS4 and Switch games, I'm only going to do Switch and PS4 games for the ending collection. But with that said, let's get into my movie collection. And yeah, but if you like, please leave one and subscribe. Now let's get into it right now. Okay, so first 4K Blu-ray up we have here is my favorite Marvel movie of all time, Logan. Fucking love this film. Drew, uh, drew so many, uh, uh, so much emotion out of me, plus all the characters that were involved here. Let me fix the camera. There we go. Plus, I just love the story being told because I've watched, you know, the X-Men back in 2002 and then just to imagine how long Hugh Jackman has been Wolverine, and then for him to just die, you know, you see his entire story, you know, leading up to them, him being sick, and so on, and he dies, you know, it, you know, it makes it sad, it makes it really sad to see that happen, and now I'm hearing, uh, hearing talks that, you know, they're talking about rebooting it, or, you know, Jake Gyllenhaal would love to play Wolverine, I'm like, get the fuck out of here, man, the only person that can play Wolverine is Hugh Jackman, and the only continuation I want to see is with Laura in, like, the spinoff after Logan, if they do one of those, but if not, and if they recast Wolverine, I don't know, I'll give it a chance, but... It's highly unlikely because Hugh Jackman is the man. Okay, then after that, this is my Marvel collection to start out, by the way. We have Black Panther, great film, really good. I'm going to move through them pretty quickly because I don't want to take forever. Plus, I only have like 50 minutes to record. Then after that, we have Thor Ragnarok, Ragnarok a really good Thor film really got me into the Thor movies. Just need to pick up the others on Blu-ray to watch them. Hope they remake the others on 4K. Because I can have the full collection. And after that, we got... We got... We got... Yeah, boy. Deadpool. Deadpool 1. Really great movie. Was really afraid that this was going to be bad. Especially in the month it released, which was February. But it... It proved me wrong and was such a great, fantastic film. Same with Deadpool 2. Deadpool 2 killed it, I think. I don't know if it's better than the first. I want to say it is, but I still enjoy the first because of all the first time and you seeing Deadpool in the big screen. But besides that, both are great films. And after that, we got The Avengers. Oh, we got Avengers 1. Great film. Really introduced, or, uh, introduced everybody. Then you got Age of Ultron, baby. My second favorite. I'll tell you why after this, but just, oh man, I love this film. I love the, the emotion, plus Quicksilver and, and uh, Scarlet Witch. I love the introduction of them and Vision and everyone is just so great. Oh, so good. But you're probably wondering what's my favorite. What's my favorite Avengers film? Well, I'll tell ya. Infinity War, boy. Oh, I love this film. This film made me cry, made me tear up. Spider-Man's gone. Everyone, like half of the Avengers are gone. But not really because, you know, how are they going to make Far From Home without Tom Holland? 
Is it going to be the introduction of Miles or what? You know, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do for Far From Home. That's why I'm not watching any trailers, but I cannot wait to see it. But, great film. Fantastic film. After that, we got Sam Raimi's Spidey-Man. We got the entire Spider-Man trilogy, the original Spider-Man trilogy, the Sam Raimi trilogy on 4K Blu-ray. Love these movies, love them to death. Don't care about what anybody says about number three. It's a guilty pleasure of the trilogy, but great films. Then, after that, we got Spider-Man Homecoming, which I really enjoyed. Uh, I just really enjoyed um, the more comic booky take on Spider-Man, you know. Uh, because I can't remember if in the Raimi movies he talked back as much as he did. But this one really proved the comic book right. And uh, had a great um, uh, great showing of comic books. The Amazing Spider-Mans on the other hand, I liked them. But they're not worth collecting in my books. Especially if you have a quitter like Andrew Garfield. What a fucking quitter. He's a great actor, but fucking quitter <laughs> but all jokes aside i i didn't really like this okay then after that we got um only one dc film and that is wonder woman have not yet seen this yet need to plus i need to collect more dc films on 4k and after that we got the last jedi the it it's you know it's good it's not greatest nor the worst Still good. All the Star Wars movies are good. And cannot wait to see what they do with Episode 9. Come on, go in there. Then after that, we got to start my horror collection. We got A Quiet Place. Great idea for a film. I never thought, you know, anybody would think of this. But, you know, you can't make a sound. Because if you do, they die. Or you die. But great film. Love John Krasinski as well. And after that, we got... The Evil Dead. Evil Dead. Love this film. Uh, watched it for the first time. Again, a couple months ago. And just love... I, I love the cheesiness in 4K. Loved it. And cannot wait to pick up Evil Dead 2. Uh, whenever I get the chance to. Because what I'm working on now is completing my Christmas list that I didn't get for Christmas. So all the stuff I didn't get for Christmas. Like all the things are on Amazon. Evil Dead 2 is on there. But I don't know when I'm going to get it. Sometime soon, maybe. Hopefully next month or something. Let me come up with a reboot. And that's it. Ooh, baby, I love this movie. Cannot wait till chapter 2 in September of this year. Oh, this, oh excuse me. So good. Love Pennywise. Love, uh, what's his name? Bill, Skars Bill Skarsgård as Pennywise. He killed it and just loved it, you know? And, you know... It was such a great theater experience that, you know, when you rewatch it at home, totally different, but it's really enjoyable. You know, it's like a Stranger Things, but with a fucking clown. And after that, we got, ooh, we got Halloween Baby, the original. Love this film. And then I also have the second one, the new second one coming. Uh, I had that pre-ordered, got the Steelbook edition pre-ordered. Wish they would have called it Halloween 2. That's that's my OCD kicking in, but besides that, that one was, was still a great film, but nothing can beat this. The only thing that beats this is the acting in the new one, but besides that, this is great. And up to that, we got a slow burn, but I enjoyed it. Hereditary. This film was great. I loved every second of it, and then what you know, you, you don't see, you know, the girl, you know, I'm just going to say, it it turns out that she's not the, like, enemy, you know? It actually turns out that, you know, you see, like, the toll, all the events, um, uh, take on the family. And it's really disturbing, actually. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what they do with the sequel. If there is one. Okay. And after that, we got, ooh, we got Split. Love this film. Cannot wait till Glass this month. Does it come? Yeah, this it comes out this month. Holy shit! But cannot wait till it comes out. And um, 
really hoping they remake for uh unbreakable in 4k so you can have the entire collection but we will see but all great films and after that we got get out oh, man, i love this film jordan peele can do no wrong in my books and cannot wait to see us which comes out this year as well that one looks fucking crazy as well after that we got my favorite Christian Bale performance of all time. American Psycho. Love I just love him in this. He he kills it. He I especially love that, you know, uh scene. Oh, fuck, I for, I'm forgetting the lines. I remember them. They're on the tip of my tongue, but you know when he just takes up the guy with the axe. Fucking oh, I love Christian Bale. Kills it. And that we got the John Wick collection. We got John Wick 1 and John Wick 2. Both fantastic action movies. Love them and cannot wait till John Wick 3. And after that, we got Arnold Schwarzenegger. We got Terminator 2. Love this film. Best Arnie movie to date. Though, Jingle All the Way. Has fighting power, but great film. Then we got The Predator. Fantastic film. Love it. I'm really hoping they do like a 4K collection of Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. So they got Jingle All the Way, Terminator 2, Terminator 1, Terminator 3, however many Terminators he's in, uh, Predator, and just, you know, all the movies he's in because Arnold Schwarzenegger is a once in a lifetime. Um, I'm going to call him uh, Enigma because, oh my god, I love him. He's so, he's so good in whatever he does. Okay, then after that, we got King Kong. Love this film. Really good. Love Jack Black as well. And uh, look and pick up Skull Island sometime soon. And I uh, really hope they remake uh, the new Godzilla in 4K. Uh, so I can just have, like, all the monster movies in 4K. And then I cannot wait till Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Oh, that game. Uh, or that game. That movie's gonna be so good. And after that, we got my war movies. We got Saving Private Ryan. Love this film. And after that, we got Fury. Boy, Fury. Love this film. Then after one I was worried about, but surprised at the end, I really enjoyed it. Hacksaw Ridge. This, oh man, this movie, uh, it drove so much emotion out of me. But, oh man, this is what I'm talking about. This is where you belong, Andrew Garfield. You know, you should, I don't know. I enjoyed him in Amazing Spider-Man, don't get me wrong, but I love performances like these. And after that, we got Inception, Mindfuck. Boy, once you watch it, you know, you'll get it. You'll get it. And you got Sicario, great action film. Need to pick up a Day of Soldado, that what it's called. Because I haven't seen it in theaters, but I want to pick it up and see it. Oh, uh, where'd it go? Oh, oh, there we go. Jumanji, the only Jumanji movie in my books. Fuck The Rock for remaking it, or whoever remade it, and fuck them for making a third one. Just leave it at this. Robin Williams is the only one who should be making, or who uh, should have been the only one who made a Jumanji movie. Love this film. And you got The Incredibles. Love this film. Uh, cannot wait to pick up Incredibles 2 whenever it does go down in price because, Jesus, it's like 24 bucks or something. I need to pick a day where that's like the only thing I get, <laughs> you know, or whatever. But, uh, yeah, it's really surprising because the new, the Rambo remasters, they're like not even that cheap. Like, the first one's 11, the second one's like 12, and then the third one's like 13. Like, why are you so cheap? It's weird. Okay, then after that, we got Ready Player One. Really enjoyed this film and cannot wait to see if they make a sequel or if they don't. But really love 
this film and just all the references it has, especially that shining reference. And after that, we got Creed. Love this boxing film. Doesn't beat Southpaw, though, or the original Rocky. And we got Patriot's Day. Love this uh, love this from what I've seen of it. I need to have a full watch of it, but great film at, so far. And after that, we got Brawl and Cell Block 99. Still have not yet watched this. Need to. Need to. And after that, oh shit. Not falling in there. We got Die Hard, my favorite Christmas movie. Next to Eight Crazy Nights, that's a Jewish movie, but... You know, it takes place during Christmas time, and also Jim carries the Grinch. <laughs> and after that, we got Step Brothers. Oh, I love these movies. Uh, Will Ferrell and John, John C. Riley can do no wrong. Especially, especially that Holmes and Watson. I'm really thinking about picking it up when it comes out. But I don't know. I mean, tell me if it's bad or good. And, yeah, and I'll decide off that. No, just kidding. I'll decide off my own. But, yeah, I can't wait to see that and see how either bad it is or good. Okay. And after that, we got uh, Planet of the Apes collection. You got, let's see, you got War. Oh, you got Dawn, War, and uh, Rise. Love all these films, especially just war because it showed you the conclusion of caesar that's all i'm gonna say but damn those films are good and oh shit oh, it, i love these but not the cases <laughs> because they're too fucking big but we got stranger things season one on 4k and then stranger things season two on 4k love the packaging but they they're way too fucking big and they take up a lot of my shelf, but still love them. Hopefully I don't mess them up. Oh, shit. Okay, there we go. And after that, we got Jurassic Park Collection, Need to Pick Up Fallen Kingdom. I really like that one. Don't really care what anyone says about... Uh, sorry, my nose is running. But about uh, Jurassic World, they're they're just fun movies, and nothing can beat the original Jurassic Park. You don't need to worry about that. It may think it can, and it may think it has like moments in the movie where it's like, oh, we can. It's like, no, you can't. You can't beat originality. But yeah, Fallen Kingdom was good, and I can't wait till the third uh, Jurassic World. Now, my Christmas movies. And there's only... There's four. Well, technically five with Die Hard, but still. But first one up is Jim Carrey's The Grinch. Love this one. Uh, I, I like the cartoon, but this one just wins it over for me. And then my last one, The Peanuts Collection. I call this a Christmas because it has Charlie Brown's Christmas in it. But as Halloween, Christmas, and Thanksgiving, but great films. Okay, now moving into my Blu-rays, we have the entire Tarantino collection. Uh, this one minus Hateful Eight, but we got movies like Django, Glorious Bastards, Pulp Fiction, Death Proof, Jackie Brown, Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2, Reservoir Dogs, and yeah, but... All great films, love them all, love Tarantino, and cannot wait till once, at a, once upon a time in Hollywood. And I just heard about that this year. I was like, holy shit, Tarantino is making a flick. And here he has like two movies being made, so that's surprising. And then the last film of the Tarantino collection, Painful Eight. Love this one. Then we got uh, my Marvel collection for um, my Blu-ray wise. We got Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, both great films. And then Avengers 1 
and Age of Ultron. Really great films. And then on stuff like that, I'm just going to give them my thoughts again. Or just show them because I've already showed them on 4K. And then we got... There we go. We got my X-Men collection. We got X-Men Last Stand. Really good. From what I remember. And then... The X-Men I cannot get into. X-Men Days of Future Past. I can't get into this trilogy. I don't know if it's me or the series. But it, it kind of bores me. And after that we got Jurassic World. Love this. Not love it but enjoy it. Let's, let's say that. Don't know why it's in the superhero collection. Maybe because of Star-Lord. But yeah. We have Chronicle. Love this film. Really good found footage movie. And after that, we got the Dark Knight Trilogy, which I'm planning to pick up on 4K. And then after that, I'll probably just sell this because I don't see a use in having two copies of something. But still, fantastic films. And after that, we got... The Star Wars collection, we got all the ones on Blu-ray, Star Wars 1 through 6. Oh, love all these films. Just, it's Star Wars, bro. No need to complain about it. And then a shot in the gut, uh, you know, when there was a series return back in 2015. Star Wars Force Awakens, really enjoyed this film. It reminded me a lot of A New Hope, but yeah. Number 8 kind of screwed all the hype up. And I hope 9 can fix it. And then we got Star Wars Rogue One. Uh, one of my favorite war movies of all time. Though the ending should have ended once Dark Saber... Uh, Dark... Darth Saber... Dark... Dar oh my god. Darth Vader. God, let me get my words straight. Darth Vader's lightsaber lit up in the room. It should have just ended there. Because we don't know what happens after that. We don't need further explanation. But besides that, still a great film. And after that, we got my DC collection. Oh, cool. We got Man of Steel, best Superman movie to date. My opinion. Then we got Wonder Woman. Like I said, great film. Or I don't even know what I said earlier, so uh, if you want to correct me on that, go ahead. We got Batman v Superman. The only reason I like this film is because of the fight scenes. Not Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. He should have been revealed as the Joker at the end. And after that, we got uh, The Killing Joke. Really great uh, film adaptation. Uh, da, 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 da. We're almost done. We are almost done. Then we got a Star Wars uh, parody. Spaceballs. Love this film. Then we got Super Bad. Love these two. Michael Cera. Uh, Jonah Hill, right? right? That's his name. Let's see. Uh... Yep, Jonah Hill, but yeah, love these films. Like, I mean, any film with them in it. And after that, we got the Lord of the Rings trilogy set. Love all these movies, and uh, especially The Hobbit. I need to pick up The Hobbit trilogy as well. And after that, we got Saving Private Ryan. Great film. That we got Braveheart, great film. And after that, we got Gladiator, great film. I'm gonna do that a lot. Sorry, but I don't want to take forever. Then we got, oh, The Godfather trilogy. Oh, these films, masterpiece. And after that, we got Predator. That's all I have to say. And then if you don't speak Arnold, uh, that's fantastic. Just like uh, these films. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. 
Okay, so uh, I'm gonna give my Arnold take on these. Okay, so. Get to the chopper. Which basically means fantastic, but in Arnold, uh, Arnold Noise. Yeah, that's a real language. Get in there, you silly kitty. Then we got my second favorite boxing movie, Southpaw. Just love the emotion in this movie and love uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. As, you know, just a struggling father, man. He shows you what struggle is. Then we got... Jenny. Jenny. What, where are you, Jenny? Mama always told me life is like a box of chocolate. Love this film. Love Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks can do no wrong. And I also plan to upgrade this to 4K. And we got, ooh, Castaway, Wilson, where are you, Wilson? I'm loving. What would have been really funny is uh, if in Captain Phillips, um, I don't know, like they find like a guy on a raft in the middle of the ocean. They're like, oh my god, do you need help? And then like he's trying to find his friend Wilson. And then uh, Tom Hanks like, oh, that's weird. I used to have a friend named Wilson. That would have been a funny cameo. Just thought of that for some reason. Then we got a movie I want to get into but cannot because I don't have the rest of the film collection. But I want to get into this one first. That's... Oh, the case is open. The case is broke. That's great. Oh, never mind. There we go. That's Phantasm. This film is just weird. And we got a film I picked up without knowing anything about. Or a dual pack. The Grand Duel and Kioma. Need to watch these sometime soon. Then we got Planet of the Apes 2 pack, Rise and Dawn. Love both these films, like I said before. Here we got one of my top 10 movies of all time, A Clockwork Orange. Oh my god, this film is fantastic. I'm still reading the book, and the book, it seems like it's just a rehash of the film script. Or not a rehash, but it seems like it's the same story as the film. I know the book came out before the film, but this film, fantastic. That we got 300, um, you know, just Spartan dudes or male, male models kicking each other down pits and shit. But, um, yeah, really good visual film. You know, it's a great film to throw on an HD TV. And plus, you know, you can watch and be entertained. I want to know, um, is the sequel to this entertaining? Is it watchable? Just want to know because I want to pick it up. If it is. But yeah. Great film. Alright. Alright. We got. Shawshank Redemption. Love this. And the book. Alright. That. We got. The Martian. Love this film. Planned up good. 4K sometime soon. But I love Mark Wahlberg in this. Then we got something we're not supposed to talk about. Yeah, fantastic film. Then we got seven, great film. What's in the box? Uh, your wife's head, dude. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert, but not really because that film has been out long enough for people to see it besides the people or babies. But yeah. Fantastic film. 
Then we got Warriors come out to play. <sighs> Love this film. And the game, too. The game was surprisingly uh, well made. Then we got Blade. Heard, or I think there's rumors that there's going to be a Blade 4. And Wesley Snipes is in for it. And if so, whew, that's going to be good. And we got my, one of my favorite action movies, Hardcore Henry. Hope they do a sequel to this sometime soon because this film was really kick-ass. We got Die Hard, great film. Favorite Christmas movie. We got John Wick 1, great film. And we got John Wick 2, great film. And we got Scott Face. Love this film. Really shows you how someone can rise and fall uh, just by making the wrong decisions. But fantastic film. Okay. To continue after that, we got Interstellar. Really good, you know, space movie. I really enjoyed it. That we got The Hurt Locker, really good movie as well. One of my favorite war movies. And after that, we got some more of my Marvel Deadpool. Love this film. And after that, we got Logan, fantastic film, like I said before. fixing it so like be easier to pick up and after that we got alien love this one really great space horror and after that we got what do we got we got aliens really good action movie especially for the series after that we got prometheus good film good prequel film for the series as well after that, we got 20 Days Later, one of my favorite zombie films of all time. And after that, we got World War Z, another one of my favorite zombie films. Really hope 2 is better. I mean, that one, it was good, but I don't know. Just, uh, I don't know. I think, it can, I think the second one can be great. Then we got my favorite zombie movie of all time. Shaun of the Dead. Just love Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. Fantastic. And then for that, we got Independence Day. Have not yet seen that trash sequel or whatever, but this one will always stand tall. And after that, we got 10 Cloverfield Lane. Love this film. And uh, planning to buy the original and that on 4K. So, yeah. Then after that, we got Godzilla. Love this film. Cannot wait till King of the Monsters. After that, we got my shark movies. We got Shallows. Plan to upgrade this to 4K. Great shark movie. And then Jaws. The reason this movie alone makes me scared of the ocean and also keeps my fear of the ocean going. Like, why the hell would you want to swim with a man beast? Doesn't make any sense. That we got. We got Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Love this film. Beats every other uh, movie in its uh, franchise. After that, we got the 2004 remake, which I thought was really good. And after that, we got A Nightmare on Home Street. Love this film. Need to pick up two and three. 
and maybe the rest, maybe just the rest of the collection, because I, I enjoyed all of them, especially the 2010 remake. Uh, oh. uh, we got Friday the 13th, uncut edition, need to pick up the second one, because the second one introduces Jason, this one just has his mother going around killing people. Then, after that, we have It, Stephen King's miniseries, love this film, love, uh, just, uh, I love the clown performance as um god damn it why am i forgetting the names tim curry tim curry loved his performance then we got my favorite horror movie of all time the shining oh i love jack nicholson oh so good saw the mini series that story only works well in the books. I read the books and or the book, and the book is fantastic. And I'm re I'm going to re read a uh, Doctor Sleep sometime soon, maybe after Clockwork Orange. Then we got the reason I'm scared of TVs. The Ring. Fuck this movie. Then we got after that we got The Conjuring. And then also The Conjuring 2. Have not yet seen Annabelle nor Annabelle Creation nor The Nun. I heard The Nun was complete trash, but I heard Annabelle Creation is good and Annabelle is trash too. But I don't think I'll be going to see those anytime soon because I don't know. They don't just in, they don't interest me enough like The Conjuring series. After that, we got Evil Dead. Love this reboot. Really hope they remake it on 4K. And after that, we got... We got... What do we got? Oh, we got The Exorcist. Love this film. Favorite. Second favorite horror movie. Scariest film of all time, though, that I've seen. Because I, I never forget Reagan spider crawling down the, uh, down the stair side. After that, we got the original Psycho. Heard the one with Vince Vaughn from the 2004 remake was really good, but this one beats it out of the park. Then we got Silence of the Lambs. Need to pick up the other films in the Hannibal Lecter franchise, but oh, this film's so good. Now we got some uh, really uh, non-enjoyable. Maybe I just have to try to rewatch them all. Oh wait, never mind. That one. But um, yeah, some non-enjoyable horror movies. Or I don't even know if they're horror movies, but we got the Insidious series, Insidious one, two, and three. I tried watching one, couldn't get through it. Just ended up being a bunch of jump scares. I think it's just a bad movie. I mean, I enjoy the devil face, but besides that, nothing else. After that, we got American Psycho. Great film again, like I said. After that, we got Don't Breathe, a really, really a great surprise from the year release. Really love this movie. And as you said, you got Get Out, love this film, and Split. Then we got Mad Max for your road. Need to pick up the original trilogy on on Blu-ray, but love this film as well. And after that, we got The Revenant. Fucking, oh, man. Oh, Leonardo DiCaprio killed it in this role. And really deserves an Oscar, but will he get it? Uh, no, he won't, sadly. 
Then after that we got 007, The World's Not Enough. Not my favorite, but eh. I'm looking to pick up the collection anyway, so maybe I'll do that sometime soon. Don't know when, but I will. And we got some adult animation, and I don't mean porn. I just mean like adult jokes. And then we got Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty Season 2. Rick and Morty Season 3. Love all these. And after that, we got Sausage Fest. Love this film. Uh, really hope they do a sequel because I want to see what else they can do with uh, the movie series. Then after that, I think we got, oh, no, more animation. Oh, we got Roger Rabbit. Love this film. Really, uh, it's the first ever film that I've seen that blended cartoon or animation and live action flawlessly. I know that sounds weird, but it did it really good in my books. After that, we got some Aristocats and Toy Story. And also Toy Story 2 and 3. Toy Story, such a great film series and cannot wait till number 4 because I'm just interested to see what they're going to do. This is the one part I hate about like, my bottom shelf. It, it takes like forever to get down there. Okay, next up is a Wreck-It Ralph great video game type movie. And I cannot wait to see uh, Ralph Breaks the Internet. I didn't get a chance to see it in theaters, but cannot wait to go and see it uh, when it comes out. And then also plan to upgrade Wreck-It Ralph to 4K. Then Big Hero 6, fantastic. Then we got Finding Nemo, great film. Then we got Finding Dory, another great film. And then we got Live Action Tarzan. Good film. You know, it's fun. It's not bad nor horrible. Then we got my Christmas movies, baby. We got the animated Grinch. Jim Carrey's Grinch. Love this film. And we got uh, oh, Jungle Book that belongs in the animation that's not Christmassy <laughs> then we got Watership Down this is not Christmas but very disturbing then we got Elf Love Will Ferrell it's just a stupid Christmas movie I mean you know it you know then we got Christmas Vacation National Lampoons love the National Lampoons movies need to pick up the others on Blu-ray sometime soon but I just need to find them then after that we got A Christmas Carol love this film Nothing beats that animation. And then A Nightmare Before Christmas, which can alter between Halloween and Christmas. And I am trying to find the Polar Express on Blu-ray, but uh, I have found it, but for a lot of money. So I think it's just like a purchase I would need to make when I have like nothing else to buy. You know what I mean? And, uh... Also, one thing I want to uh, say is, like, all the Blu-rays that have 4K alternatives that allow me to upgrade them to 4K, I'm going to upgrade them and then probably sell my Blu-rays. So, I'll sell my Blu-ray version of it. So, if you would want to buy it from me, just uh, leave comments down below and I'll, I'll, I'll probably send it to you. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. Only me. But, guys... That's my entire movie collection to start off 2019. I'm going to be getting a lot more movies in 2019. And plus, upgrading my uh, setup. So I'll be getting a region free uh, 4K Blu-ray player. And then probably a 4K monitor or TV because they do the same thing. And uh, yeah, but I cannot wait to do that. But with that said, I hope y'all did enjoy, and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and follow me in the road to 400 subscribers. And with that said, hope y'all did enjoy, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.